Hey everybody, welcome to part 24 of the walkthrough for Stellar Blade. Now, I died a couple of times in this area. It's been edited for time, but you will not miss a step. So, as soon as you go through this door here, it's going to be welcome to the Rotten Labyrinth. Go ahead and climb up these ledges right here. Drop. Let's open up this crate. Okay, go through here. We're gonna get a few enemies in here. Now, again, you know, remember choke points, things like that. Uh, taking out the enemy that's the biggest threat to you. For me, it's the tiger stripe one is the biggest threat. So, that's what we're dealing with first. As you can see. So it, it, it's a very small area to fight in. Just, you know, keep your wits about you. And handle business like you're supposed to. You're a pro at this by now. You can do it. If you made it here, I'm sure you can finish out the rest of the game. Alright. Kill everything button. Pick up your stuff. Make sure you don't miss anything in here. The door you can't quite open. Because it doesn't open from that side. We're going to go that way in just a moment. You'll see where we need to take the fusion cell. We're gonna go down here. Kill everything in this room as quickly as possible. It's recommended you be fast about it because that parasite is gonna grab a body on the ground and then you're gonna have to deal with another enemy. Now, if you made it through this alive, go ahead and grab this right here. It's your core. Okay, now that you have that core grabbed up, we go through this door right here to go back out where you came. Now, if you listen close, you can hear a robot. And that robot is going to be just back the way you came. It's going to be up and on your left. So just go up the ladder. And then there's going to be a bar in the middle you can grab onto. And just jump over. And get the robot. Okay, gives you a passcode. Write that down if you have to. So yeah, if you ever notice me taking a long time on this screen, it's because I am actually writing down the password. So now that you have that, you're going to head on your way through here and finally go to your left. See, there's a... Not a way through here. Alright, now these ledges, uh, they only go up. You can go all the way down. We did test this out. I'm going to show you right now. That there's nowhere else to go. As you can see, you will die if you drop down that ledge. Alright, heading up. And over. Straight through here is an item on the right. See a human right there. 
that. The door you can't open yet. Go ahead and go down the ladder. Heard the robot. There it is. Always glad to see this. All right, through here now. And we're going to get to that spot where Adam thought we should give up. First, we got to get through this way. Oh, look. Yes. You happy? He's so excited about it. Super excited. All right, go ahead and do the puzzle. And get all your stuff. Take care of this enemy and the parasite that's after it. That spooked me. I was focused on the box. That was bad of me. There wasn't that many. Okay, open this up. And just, you know, pay attention to your surroundings. Make sure you get everything that you have to get. Go ahead and drop the fusion cell. And then you're going to go through the door. It's just a human across the way there. So you have a couple of things that you have to do in here. You can open this up. You can go grab that item if you'd like right away. It's great. It's just a box, actually. Not great. And you go through here. If you can actually get through there. All right, couple of enemies here. Gonna bait this one in the hallway here. Just another big piece of advice, I know we're like way in part 24 right now, but another big piece of advice is to just, just don't get greedy. When you're taking down these enemies, don't get greedy about it. Yes, you're powerful. Yes, you can do a lot of damage, but you also need to make sure that you keep your wits about you and that you're not just rushing into situations that are, that are going to ultimately lead you right back to where you started from in this area. Again, always, you know, you got more than one enemy, try to bait them somewhere else so you can take them out one at a time. Or... It's a lot easier to take out one or two enemies than it is, you know, three, four. All right, double tap that parasite. And then we can go get the last enemy in this room. And that's what I mean by not getting greedy, you know? Throw out a decent, quick little combo and then step back. Especially if you're anything like me and you kind of you're kind of getting by on the same type of combo all the time. Do you think they were trapped here? Do 
I can just suggest, like, use what works, you know. Alright, so back out this way. And we're gonna explore the rest of this area right here. There will be various items and humans through here. Dialogue that you can read. All I know is that we're the only ones here right now. Just go ahead and grab those items right there. And then read this if you'd like. When you when you get a chance to. Okay, you can see the spot for the fusion cell. Okay, we're just scanning the area, making sure we're going the right way and that we got most of the important stuff so far. Just as I thought, groups of survivors were set up here. From the looks of it, this place has been abandoned for a long time. Then why do I feel warmer? So you got an item over here. And we're going to do exactly that. There was a book on the shelf there. There's a robot. Grab this right over here. And, you know, just, just explore things. However it is that you decide to explore things, just make sure that you are thorough about it. You can see that crate right there. There's a piano. You said this was a piano, right? Yeah. Music was an invaluable source of comfort for people here. Okay, there's a human right here. You can see the camp off to the left. Go ahead and open this up. There's a chest right here. It's the password we had written down earlier. Okay. Make sure you grab all this up. Now, I like to scan things a lot, as much as I possibly can, and I urge you to do the same thing. There are still many things that need to be done in this area. I do suggest that you handle that on your own. I am giving you the basic essentials that you will need in order to get through Stellar Blade, at least the first ending. And then the rest of it is entirely up to you. If you choose to get the Platinum, if you choose to get the rest of the endings, at least you have a good base to start from. What a curious thing to say. So go ahead and activate the camp. And then, you know, resupply as you need to. Buy whatever it is you need. And if you have any skill points, go ahead and spend those. Again, however you'd like. There's no set... No set way that you're supposed to do this. You're going to... If you're going to get the Platinum, you'll eventually have to get all of the skills anyway. So. Alright, go ahead and rest. And then from here, this next area is going to be a little bit tough, but you'll be able to get through it. So first, open this crate. And then you're going to go in this room right here. 
it's a place to honor the dead. It's a brief cutscene. They're still waiting for the salvation Mother Sylvia promised them. There. I want to send the memories left here to Mother Sphere. That's where they belong. I'll help. Me too, me too. Thank you, both of you. Okay, you can see the fusion cell on your right. Look at that. There's gonna be some humans in here. Walk up to them and interact. Let's get you a few more skill points. Grab this right here, left. Never stop exploring. As you can tell, the background music is from the beginning menu. So we're gonna head the direction that we are supposed to go and drop the fusion cell. Hey, go ahead and just take these enemies out right here. Okay. So with that done, you're gonna go up here. Now, if you can get the assault, make sure that you do. Anytime you get the opportunity to do an assault, make sure you do so. We're just going to be searching through up here real quick. You can see there's a crate right there. Right, so if you miss it, it's not too big of a deal. Again, you can go back up here. You can wait around for a few minutes. It's going to tell you that you're in combat, so you can't do anything about the crate right now. Alright, so... Oh. And then get rid of this parasite here. Okay, so once you clear out this parasite, and then the little ones on the ground, be sure to go back and get that crate. I'm sure I probably forget it. Right, and then once you do that, you can come down, come back down here, open this door up. Then you're gonna see more of these parasite enemies. All right, keep at it. Get rid of the parasite soon enough. Now, 
As you can see, I forgot about the crate, so I'm going back to go get it. So just go up. All right, now we can go on our way here. Now, the reason this episode was a little bit longer than normal is because the way that the camps are set up, it just seemed kind of kind of ridiculous because the first camp is like 10 minutes in and then the next camp isn't for another like 20 minutes. So, all right, grab this core. And that's another full beta core. You're gonna go up the up and over, obviously, to where that enemy is. Let's go up here. And then, you know, take out these parasites however you'd like to. Uh, use range damage. Use beta energy skills. You know. Slash at it with your sword until it's gone. Whatever you need to do. Whatever you gotta do to get the job done. Just get it done. You're a freaking pro. Just be a freaking pro. Alright, grab this right here. And go for a ride. Up the ladder you go. And just keep following this linear path here. Now, <clears throat> this part, this next part, is going to be a little hey, bit difficult. Over there. It looks like so, you might so die. It's okay if you don't. Just go ahead and read that if you'd like. Activate this generator. And full disclosure... I died once. The left. I hate so we're like gonna this. see it clip out for a sec. All right, so they're going to be these yellow targets. Can't really reach them from here. You'll you'll see a visual cue as to when you can right now. So as you see them light up, you can then actually start shooting them. However, we ran out of slugs. And the stinger is not going to target the target, so... And, uh... And just, you know, lost out on that one. So now he's going to drop little parasites, and he's going to activate these enemies that are already here on the lift. You can continue to kill parasites, however, you'll just keep killing parasites. So, as you can see, like, I'm almost dead. Very difficult part right here. However, though, the good thing is, is that once you take out the bigger enemies here, and there's nothing but parasites left, you, you don't have to worry about more enemies coming back to life. So just take out whatever it is that you can. And then you're going to focus on the parasite itself. The big one. So I, the instinct is to, you know, with me at least, is that I wanted to do jump attacks right here. But because you're on a lift, you're not allowed to jump. So just target the parasite and just keep... You know, hitting it with whatever it is that you got. Let's try using and the then you can go ahead and activate the lift again. Now, it's not so much like that the game gets really, really difficult. It's just you get put in these situations that are difficult to deal with. So then if you don't have a proper strategy then it gets kind of gets kind of so iffy so we have the temporary armor we're going to activate this camp 
and then from here we'll be resting make sure that you buy anything it is that you need to buy whatever ammo whatever grenades so, uh, wb pumps yes. make sure you do that It's a little extreme. Well, we'll find out more once we get to the source of the contamination. I okay, to... and that's exactly what we're going to be doing. So again, make sure you're stocked up, well stocked up, and spend those skill points if you have them. And we'll see you for episode 25 here in just a moment. Thank you.